All right, y'all, welcome back to my channel. There's a lot going on. I have received these two cute little babies. <laughs> they are Le Mon Gourmand fragrances. As far as I know, these are both new releases that just came out um, from Le Mon Gourmand's, and I went ahead and picked them up in the Le Petit size um, during Urban Outfitters sale that they just had on um, their 50% off sale. So um, I did realize that they were Le Petit, but I didn't realize they were this petite these little guys uh retail for 16 dollars each but either way um right now i've got the levon citron on this wrist the video for that will be of course posted separately and i'm about to go ahead and spray the sucre demand you guys and i've apologized already in this video series about my french pronunciations or mispronunciations i know someone um corrected me i've got my miel baby candle lit meal baby candle lit as i am doing these reviews right now and i know someone corrected me i was saying meal baby um, on the fragrance review that i did for the perfume so i apologize you guys no offense um intended and hopefully none is taken to those native for those native french speakers as i butcher um, some of these pronunciations but this is sucre demand which would translate into almond sugar I do believe, based on my many years as an American who, who took French, studied French, and uh, still has poor pronunciation. <laughs> but um, still liking the Levon Citron. We'll get back to that in a second. Or if you're, you know, if you're in the future already and you're watching, you've watched that video, you know my final thoughts on that. Demand. I like the juice on both of these. I really do. There's something really just light and pretty about both of them. Um, I think the juice color is very fitting for the fragrances. Like the lavender is exactly this like pretty shade of purple that you would expect. It looks very just light and um, sweet. It's giving gourmand type of vibes. Same thing for the Sucre Demand. All right, so I'm starting to smell this one i'm just rising up off my wrist mm. it's interesting what were the notes in this one before wait before i read the notes let me think about this what i'm smelling definitely smelling almonds it reminds me of almond extract like my grandma is baking a cake with almond extract period but i'm not getting it um hmm there's something kind of dry about it. Maybe that's the almond, right? You know how almonds just kind of have like a dry sort of texture to them. It's not bad, it's actually nice. Or maybe it's giving me even a vibe of like an almond cookie. Like you're shopping in, you're at TJ Maxx in the international food section. Not even at TJ Maxx, it hasn't made it there yet. We're still at Whole Foods, okay? We're at Whole Foods in the international food section. And this is like, it's like a European, maybe Australian biscuit, right? It's an almond biscuit. Very much just pure almond is what I'm getting. Maybe a little floral, something floral on the back end. Um, it's not really sweet though, which is interesting. Maybe this could be good for layering with something. I think like if you're into, let's say like coffee scents or if you're just a sweet gourmand girl all the way and you want to add some vanilla with this but be warned if you don't like almonds um i don't think you won't like this one yeah just a dry like english tea biscuit or something the notes in this one are green cardamom pods oh marzipan accord and sugared musks sugared musks how do you sugar musk? The marzipan, so definitely, yeah, like an almond dessert. But it's it's it is it is gourmand, and I understand. I, I think I understand where they are going with this. I think this one is an acquired taste. I'll let it go ahead and rest and develop and mellow out and everything, and I'll give you final thoughts on it. It feels like this one is missing something. This one also, it seems like it is fairly ambitious. The notes are fairly ambitious uh, for what you get. I'm really, now that I've read the green cardamom pods in the description, I'm really searching for that, like that cardamom. Is there anything 
Is there anything spicy about this that's giving cardamom? I don't think so. But I think if something spicy, I think it need yeah, it needs like some spice and some vanilla in this one for me to make it really attractive and, and pretty to me. It just reminds me of like opening a bag of almonds or sniffing almond extracts. Um, I'm definitely not seeing, let's go back to the notes again now. They said cardamom pods, so I would expect something a little spicy in that, maybe even kind of earthy. I'm not getting that. It's just simple, in your face almonds, <laughs> and that's it. And I think, and when I think of marzipan, I think of something sweeter too, and a real dessert. Um, I am not crazy about this one, but let's give it some time. Ooh, ooh, ooh we're back, y'all. <laughs> back to the future. Sucre de Monde. I've been wearing this for a while. I love it. I love both of these. <laughs> Go ahead and watch the Levant Citron video if you have not already. As it developed this so subtle, perfectly subtle spice of the cardamom came in, a little bit of floral. Yes, it's still led by the almond. Yes, I still think if you don't like almond, you will not like this one. Don't try it. But there's something very unique about it. It's cool. I do get something that kind of smells almost like clay or Play-Doh about this one. I think it's for sure the almond note. Um, it's not bad, it's not horrible, but I think that would annoy some people. Um, but it's very, it is very nice, nice and unique. Um, at first I thought that this one would need to be layered with something. Oh, this one also, it had like sugared musks in it, right? And I kind of laughed at that at the time, but I get it now. It's a musk, but it is sweet. Like it's right around the edges, right? It's just this like surprising, sweet, charismatic kind of thing with almond though. It doesn't seem like it would go together. Who wears this perfume? someone who's just unique and different and has a mind of her own and stands on it i don't this one it's not specifically gender because it's not so so sweet and so so floral but at the same time i don't see many guys really being attracted to this or wanting to wear it let me know if you're a guy and you have this one or wear it or if you're a woman and your boyfriend keeps keeps stealing it but i don't think these to me don't have, neither of these have that kind of crossover um, potential. Um, this is warm. With spring coming up, I'm thinking of like chilly, rainy spring days. I don't think this one would smell so good in the heat or wear very well in heat. Like I said, there's that sort of um, almost damp or clay-like Play-Doh type of smell that's in the background slightly here. It's not enough to bother me because I still really like this. I may have to wear this over a couple days and really, really decide how much I like it, how much I'll continue wearing this one. But, um, <laughs> yeah, that Play-Doh. Um, it's not bad, though. It's not bad. Overall, I like this one. I don't rate as high, but I like it just simply for the fact that it is very unique. And I think a good almond perfume is hard to come by. Yes, you might see almond as a note. It's usually something that you're like, there's almonds in here. <laughs> it's always my reaction with almond. This time, the mon grandma was like, no, we are absolutely giving you an almond perfume. So if you are that person who's been looking for, searching for an almond perfume for months and years, someone did it for you. They made it for you. It's here. <laughs> you just have to go get it. So number rating. So that all of that can be considered, all things being considered. I'll give this one a 6.4 for the Sucre. Daman. My favorite between the two, definitely this one. Definitely. There's no, you know, the Sucre Daman can't even, your arms are too short to box with God, okay? But you're still nice. You're still good. I like that. I, I like it for you. I like it for me. All right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Love y'all. Peace.